Events that we have come to know are full and vibrant with food, music and parades. And as we approach the holiday, we're learning more about Wisconsin's very early celebrations of emancipation. TMJ4's Mary Jo Ola has our story. Here in Delavan, people are uncovering a little known piece of history. I've learned a lot. It's been fascinating. Newspapers from 1886 detail a local emancipation celebration about 20 years after the end of slavery. Roughly 200 people were there. This is a copy of what appeared in the paper in 1886. Absolutely. Yeah, this was uh, uh, the, the actual as it was outlined. The day included music, a reading of the Emancipation Proclamation, speeches and a dance. Ryan Schrader is the mayor of Delavan and current president of the city's historical society. What really stood out is, is again, you know, Al Matson and his story of, of being a, a slave and then making his way into the Delavan area and how he organized this uh, celebration. Mayor Schrader says there are plans to do more research and to bring similar events back to the city. It's nice to know that it was we're not starting something new. While Delavan hosted large emancipation celebrations, a future Wisconsin governor would find another way to commemorate the end of slavery. Claiborne Benson is the executive director of the Wisconsin Black Historical Society and Museum in Milwaukee. He says in 1915, 50 years after the end of slavery, Governor Emanuel Philip saw opportunity. He puts together an executive committee and a exhibit that takes it down to Chicago where people uh, see the exhibit and see the kind of work that African Americans do. Uh, and it's a big moment in time in Wisconsin. This pamphlet from that time explains the effort and the people behind it, many of them black Americans, including lawyers and faith leaders. You could see there's a strong vibe of uh, of independence, uh, enterprising, uh, wanting to be real uh, uh, Wisconsin citizens, and the governor recognizes that. So it's almost a different kind of celebration, it if is. that makes sense, it right? It is. It's a okay. different kind. It's not the festival, it's not the street, but nonetheless, uh, it's a governor uh, waving the flag of African American citizens in the state of Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. But it's African Americans too. Uh, they are very proud of what they have accomplished here. Mary Joola, TMJ4 News. And here's a reminder that Milwaukee's Juneteenth celebration is coming up on Monday, June 19th, and is one of the longest running in the nation. TMJ4 is honored to once again be a part of the parade. And if you can't join us out in person, we hope that you will be able to tune in. Our coverage starting Monday, the 19th at 9 a.m. Brian will be back with his full forecast after the break.